Hello, welcome everyone back to Not From This World's Daz Studio tutorial series. Today I want to talk about adding piercings to your character. So maybe you want to give her a belly button ring or a nose ring. Now, of course, there are props that you can buy. And uh, I have an example of that right here. I've got um, some belly button rings. I've got some tongue rings and nipple piercings. Um, those work really well. And... Uh, you can easily install them. But today I want to show you how you can make your own. So if you don't want to spend the money, of course we can make a piercing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a simple nose ring and we're going to add it to our character. And I'm going to show you how you can secure it to the area of the character that you want so that when you pose her the ring or piercing moves with the girl so I'm gonna make a nose ring really quick and to do this I'm going to create a torus so I'm gonna to go to a the primitive here open up a new primitive I'm gonna select the torus and for the torus, it's kind of important to get your options correct. So I'm going to make it uh, one meter in diameter with its major diameter. I'm going to make it a minor diameter of 10 because that's going to thicken it up. And then I want it nice and round. So I'm going to give it 100 segments and 100 sides. So I'm going to hit accept. I need to scroll down to where my torus is and I'm set at the null here. I'm at zero, zero uh, for everything. So when I raise this up, we're just going to have this giant torus. This is going to be her nose ring and uh, we just need to shrink it down some. So I'm going to scale this down. And let's keep it in front of her so we can see where it's going. But I'm going to continue to just kind of scale this down to what I like. And then I'm going to zoom in. Let's zoom into her face. All right. So that looks like it's a little too big still. Just a little bit too big. I'm going to scale it down just a hair. So that looks pretty good. Might be a little too big for what I prefer, but the beauty of Daz is you can always change things if you don't like it. That's better. Okay. Perfect. So we have this nice nose ring. Now, obviously, my torus is uh, not parented to my figure. And so we can, you know, just parent it to her nose. But when we do that, it's going to move um, differently than the character when we pose her. So there is a really cool trick to... Uh, securing something like a piercing to your character in the pretty much in the exact spot you want it so i really like where this nose ring is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to secure it to her nose so when i pose it or pose her she and the piercing move together in order to do this i need to go to wire shaded so i'm going to go to the wire shaded option and that's gonna allow me to look at all the different nodes that our girl is made of and then I'm gonna go to my tools go to geometry editor I'm gonna select the geometry editor and then I have to make sure that my Milica character is selected 
And when I do that, you'll notice this little red circle along my cursor. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the nodes here where the nose ring is located. So if I zoom in, can't zoom in really anymore. So what we need to do is we need to highlight these nodes right where the nose ring is. Then I'm going to right click. And when I right click, I'm going to go down to geometry assignment and I'm going to go down to where it says create rigid follow node from selected. Now when I do this, I'm going to create a rigid area of her nose. And as far as I know, this is permanent on your character. So when you save your scene, and you try and go back and edit this, it seems to me that it's permanent. Let me know if that's not the case, but I believe it is. At any rate, I'm gonna select this create rigid follow node from selected, and it's gonna tell me that I have to name this node. So I'm gonna name it nose piercing. And I'm just gonna hit accept. Okay, now I have this bone. I guess it's not really a bone. It has a little, I don't know, like a eye beam picture. And so this is my node here, nose piercing. So all I have to do is move my torus up to the node I created and the ring is secured to that area of her nose. So when I go back to texture shaded, of course I can select the torus, I can go down to surface because it's just white right now. All right, let's change, give it some texture. So I'll go to base color, select the arrow, go to browse, and then I have a um, nice texture that I decided to use that I named silver. So I'm just going to change the color of my torus. And now I have my nose ring on my girl. Now see what's really cool about this is when I go back I can select my girl. We're going to give her an expression now. So let's see. We'll just do something like a smile. See the um, Piercing is now going to move with her nose. Okay, pretty cool. Now I want to also show you a good example of this with a nipple piercing. Now I have a nipple piercing prop that I can add, however, it's not for just a base character, it's actually for a specialized nipple prop, but um, I want to use it anyway, and I'll show you how to do that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into wire shaded again, mostly because this is YouTube, and we can't have Milica's breast exposed, unfortunately. So I'm going to go to the wireframe and I am going to get rid of her top. All right, now what this does is it's showing our breast with the nipple. 
and you can see that it's actually really flat. So I'm not going to be able to add a piercing to this because we have to raise the nipple a little bit. So in order to do that, I'm just going to select my character. I'm going to go to actor. And when I go to actor, all I have to type in is nipple. And it's going to give me all these different options to change the nipple. So what I'm going to change with my nipple here is I'm going to just um, make it larger. And I can increase its size. So I want it protruding a little bit and you can see now that it's out it's kind of protruding. Okay, and then I'm going to select this. This is her left. So I'm going to select this left piercing, but it's not going to like it because it doesn't recognize the character. That's okay. I'm just going to hit accept and see I've got this nipple ring now in my scene but it's not going to be attached to my character. So after I have the ring in the scene, I have to unparent it. I have to get rid of it. It says it's fit to Milica. We're going to fit it to none. Accept that. And then we're also going to make sure that it's unparented. So it says change the parent. It has no parent. All right, so I'm going to zoom out and then we just have to select this and locate where our ring is. So it's right there. So see, I have to move it into position. Now I just have to position my ring to where I want it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I've got this in position. Now, what I have to do is I have to do the same thing that I did with her nose piercing. Um, so I have to go to Tools, Geometry Editor, and then I have to select that. I'm going to make sure, though, that my character is selected because what I'm going to do is I'm going to select her nipple. So I'm going to go Tools, Geometry Editor, all right, and then I can select her nipple. So I can right click, go to selection, and then I can just add grow selection and it'll grow out one layer. Now this is exactly what I want. And so now I'm going to do the same thing that I did with her nose. I'm gonna right click, go to geometry assignment go to create rigid follow node from selected. We'll select that. We've got to name it. So I'm going to name it left uh, nipple piercing. So we're going to select that. Then if I look down, I've got to find that in my menu. So here it is right there, left nipple piercing. And I'm going to take my piercing. And I'm going to move it up to that selection. Now, when I move her breast, the piercing will move with her. So if I select this, I can move it up down. I can move it side to side and see how the piercing moves with the character.
pretty awesome. So let's um, let's get her top back on, and we'll go back to texture mode, and just for fun, let's do a render. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that little simple tutorial. We have to do a little bit of fixing. You can see her nipple ring is poking out of her shirt, but you can see that it's there. Pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this and have a wonderful day. See you next time.